Morning everyone, it's Len from Mercury Man Garage here again. Well, the gray is still here, but it's not quite as cold here in Michigan. So with that being said, we're gonna start getting this roof prepped and ready for paint. Let me show you what I got going on. All right, everyone, well, let me tell you what I got going on here. First of all, as you can see, I got both my workbenches ready to go, front and back. But <laughs> I'm telling you, these cars make great workbenches. That's why you don't want them to be too nice. But anyway, um, as you can see, I've already started on the roof. Uh, I got that all cleaned off. As you remember, I was using stripper, chemical strippers and various other methods to get that paint off. All eight layers. Finally got it off and got the first round of DA in done and came out pretty nice. And for the life of me, I can't figure out why the previous owner had so much primer, filler, whatever that was on this roof, because it's clean. There is no dents in this thing, hardly at all. We got a little like dent right here. It's, that's nothing. Basically, I probably can clean that up with just a heavy coat of primer. But yeah, there was nothing on this roof that needed to have that much filler. Um, so, but that's gone now. And like I said, we're gonna get this all prepped and ready for paint. I got a little more to do. Today I'm gonna focus on this vent right here. I gotta get the windshield wipers off and I'm gonna grind that paint off too. So there's probably gonna be eight layers on that too. Um, I may even have to remove my hood. I, I'm gonna try not to, but we'll see where we're at. All right, I'll check back later. Okay, one more thing here. Um, as you can see, I, I lost my front workbench. <laughs> Everything had to go back on the back workbench because I had to open the hood. So basically lost my, my front workbench. So what I can, at least now I can access this vent and get that sanded down without having to remove the hood. Still got to get these windshield wipers off. And so that worked out good. I really didn't want to take that hood off if I didn't have to. It's not a big deal, but if I don't have to, I'm not going to. Um, one more thing about the hood. Um, apparently I lost my prop rod. Before I had a, I guess you'd say it was a two by four prop rod. <laughs> I'm still looking for ideas on uh, a, a rod to hold the hood up. So if you guys have any good ideas on how I can fabricate one of those, what I should use, um, I'd like something, I don't know, still working on that. So if you guys have any ideas on a prop rod, please give me a comment and uh, let me know. But for now, the, the level will have to do. Yeah, look at there, at least it's level. All right, guys, well, I climbed inside the car because I'm trying to get these windshield wiper arms off and they're not that easy to get to. You almost need three hands. So <laughs> it's a good thing this front windshield is off, so it makes it a little easier to, to get at. But anyway, there's, I don't know if you can see this on this shot, but there's a little clip um, just underneath the blade of that screwdriver kind of see it basically you got to get that pried away or out somewhat and then it fits over that stud or the arm of the windshield wiper I guess you say motor um, but like I said you gotta you gotta pry it away enough to to break that um, there's like a groove or something that that clip rides on to keep the arm in place. So you gotta, you gotta pry it out like I, like I have right there, I, I think anyway. So we'll see now if I can get this off while I'm holding the camera. Um, I think it just sh it should pry right off. Yeah, it's coming, it's coming, you can see it. I'll try it with my hand.
Yeah, there we go. Popped right off. And the way I just did it, it's another good reason why you don't want your car to be too nice. Because, you know, that way you can't get leverage on something right on the paint. Basically, what I'm saying is, guys, is you would never want to take a screwdriver or any large piece of metal and <laughs> use it as a prying device for anything on, you know, a car with a nice paint job. I mean, on this car, as it is now anyway, I don't really care. So, I mean, I take a hammer if I want to and start chipping paint, but <laughs> on a car with a nice paint job, you're not gonna do that. Well, here we are again. Does this look familiar? I was getting way ahead of myself here. I'm thinking I was gonna start sanding this down and forgot about the eight layers of paint. So we're back to using the chemical stripper and this is gonna take a while, guys. Well, guys and gals, I've had this chemical stripper on here for a good, I don't know, 45 minutes or so. And <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but it's, it's obviously not working. So I don't know. I think I'm gonna wipe this off and try another coat and see what happens. All right, guys and gals. Well, I'm about two hours into this project. It's not working. All right, everyone. Well, we're going to plan B. America's number one stripper brand. Well, it can't get any better than that, right? I mean, come on, number one? That's gotta work. Uh, how many people remember this part of the project? This is where I ended up after I started the headliner quite a while back. Got to this part and realized I had a hole right there. And well, this is what I'm doing while I'm waiting for that paint remover to, to do its job. So just kind of sanding down the paint here. Gonna do something about that hole. Probably just leave it. It's not that bad. But like I said, this is kind of what I'm doing to kill time while I'm waiting for that paint remover to work. And speaking of the paint remover, here's where we're at after well, about 30 minutes. Um, definitely working better. I wouldn't say it's number one quality, but <laughs> it's definitely working better than the other stuff I had. Um, as you can see, it's actually bubbling up the paint, which you know, I'm no rocket scientist, but I'm pretty sure that's how paint strippers supposed to work. But I'm gonna do a little more on this, um, scrape what I have off and apply another coat. I'll check back in a minute. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for today. But just in summary here, it's just another one of those days where you, you plan on doing something like that right there. <laughs> and you gotta do something else first. But that's just how it goes with these cars. You guys know how, all about that. But many layers of paint on this car, it's, they're all coming off, so it takes time. But all right guys, hopefully you enjoyed this. Give me a big thumbs up, subscribe and comment, and we'll talk with you later. All right, bye.